Waterfalls oh, everywhere. Waterfalls everywhere. Beautiful. Tell me more. Aguasu. Mm hmm. It's green. It's green. Mm hmm. I'm surrounded by them and crystals as well. Mm hmm. What color are these crystals? They're clear. Mm hmm. What else do you see in this beautiful place? I see clouds. You see clouds. What color are these clouds? Mm -hmm. What color is the sky? The sky is blue. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. It's powerful. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body in this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body and tell me what it looks like. I have bare feet, uh-huh. Women's feet. Women's feet. A beautiful, beautiful body. Beautiful body. Mm -hmm. What else can you see about yourself there? Would I you have beads and some kind of like skins, mm -hmm. uh, animal skins, like a Native American or something. Mm hmm What does your hair look like there? Blonde. Mm hmm Long. Is it long or short? Very long. Very long. What does your face look like? I have blue eyes. Mm hmm I feel sadness. You feel sadness? Tell me about the sadness. Go deep inside and see what's causing the sadness. What's coming to you? Something fell down into the waterfall. Something fell down into the waterfall? Someone did. Someone did. I think it's a child. Mm -hmm. Let's find out a lot about it, this. Whose child is this? I'm not sure, but it makes me want to cry. Mm -hmm. Can you see the child? I can vaguely see a small child with dark hair. Mm -hmm. But it's just my memory of that thing. Mm-hmm. It didn't happen now? It, it just happened, but I can remember what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And it was wearing a white little suit. Mm -hmm. What's the sadness coming from? The child is gone now. Mm -hmm. Whose child was this? It was my brother. How did your brother end up falling down? Somebody threw him down. How old was your brother? A baby. Like under one. Mm -hmm. One. Let's go back and see what happened. Close the scene and go back to that scene so that you can understand what happened. Be there now. Tell me what's happening. Who do you see? I just see a wooden cabin type of cabin. Mm-hmm. A wooden cabin? I'm inside. Mm-hmm. I see a bed and a candle. What is this place? Is this where you live? I think so. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What else is there? Are you alone? I'm alone. Mm -hmm. But the child is under the bed, hiding. Let's 
find out why he's under the bed. He's hiding from a man. Mm-hmm. And I don't I think the man is my husband. Mm-hmm. Is this your child? I think this is my brother. Mm-hmm. What does this man want with this child? He's angry at him. At, for what reason? That husband just hates himself. So what happens next? I'm trying to keep him from touching my brother. But he goes and he grabs him. And he, he throws him down the water. How do you feel about this? I'm really scared. I feel cold. Tell me more. I'm just shivering. Mm -hmm. I feel stuck. I don't know why. What happened? Let's find out why you're shivering. Is it cold? Yeah. Mm hmm. And I'm in pain about what happened. You're in pain. Do you feel that yeah. you could have done something to protect your brother? Yes, I tried. But this man is too, too bad. Mm hmm. So what's happened to you now that your brother is gone? I think it was forced. A forced marriage. This man. Is he older than you? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this man's eyes. The oh, eyes. Hazel. The, they're hazel. The eyes are the window to the soul. Take a look at them and see if you recognize him now in the life of Geraldine. How do you feel when you see those eyes? Sadness, but... What's going through your mind? His eyes are stone cold. Mm-hmm. His eyes are stone cold. Just like they were in my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. His face is mean. Mm hmm. Yeah. So let's find out what happens next in your life. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go now to another scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening, something else that has impacted your life. Where are you? Some kind of wedding with white clothing. Mm -hmm. Wedding with white? Are you in the same lifetime? I think so. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what you see. Look all around Some you. Some kind of an atrium. An mm -hmm. atrium? And there's uh, mountains in the background, and dirt on the floor, and uh, I see white material flowing, hanging on that atrium. Mm -hmm. What is the atrium made of? Wood. Mm -hmm. And I see a black box. A black box? Where is this black box? To the right of me. Mm -hmm. What's the significance of that black box? I'm not sure it's something powerful. Hmm. I don't know what it is. 
What kind of power do you feel that that black box has? Connect with it. It's like a safe. Mm -hmm. It opens up. But for some reason I feel chills. Mm -hmm. Again. This box has something bad inside. It's like a crown. Mm -hmm. Some kind of crown. And there's a heart. A real heart. There's a heart of a human mm -hmm. and a crown inside the flat box. Let's find out who that belongs to. Connect with it and see what that means. This is gonna sound weird. It's something like Jesus. Mm -hmm. People are coming with horses behind me. Mm -hmm. And I'm shivering because I'm scared, I think. Mm -hmm. They're coming with the horses. They're coming with the horses? Yeah. What are, they, what are they coming for? Let's find out. Are you the only person there? It's me and some, some old lady that's hiding in the cottage. Mm hmm. With horses, and they see me and they want to grab me because I'm an only woman there. I mean, a young woman. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? 26. Mm -hmm. What happens next? <sighs> he grabs me. I don't know, something. What grabs me by the hair. What does he say? I have black hair. It's not the same place as before. Mm -hmm. He's grabbing me by the hair and dragging me on the floor. And throwing me towards the black box. Telling me to open it. And I'm opening it. And then I grab the heart. They're Romans. The men are Roman? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's telling me to take a bite of the heart. Take a bite of the heart. What happens next? I can feel the blood, the, the meat. Mm-hmm. Gushing in my mouth. As I'm biting it. And I'm crying and looking up. Mm -hmm. Speak up a little bit so I can hear With you. With the scarf on her head. Mm -hmm. The simple clothing. Mm -hmm. Blue. Light blue. Light blue. And the house is brown. And windows. The guy is banging my head against the box now. He's banging your head against the box? Yeah. Mm hmm. Who is this man? Take a look at his eyes. Blue eyes. Mm hmm. How is he He's dressed? A strong man. He's a Roman. I'm a Roman? Mm hmm. Does he have any armor on? Yes. Mm hmm. Red and silver. Red and silver. And sandals. Mm hmm. The red feather stuff, like those Mohawk things on his head. Mm hmm. can't feel him. Do you feel like he has no soul? He does have a soul. He's kind inside, but mm -hmm. I don't know why he's doing this. Do you feel that from him? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's sad. He's sad? That he has to do this. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize these eyes as someone that you know? I don't know, but a little bit. Mm -hmm. Take a good look at his eyes. Do 
You'll always recognize the eyes. So let's see what happens after this. What do they do to you next? I think I'm dying. Mm -hmm. My stomach hurts. Mm -hmm. What happened to your stomach? It's just the anxiety. Mm -hmm. The anxiety. Suffering. The pain that they're causing humanity. Mm -hmm. Let's find out a little bit about yourself before you die in that lifetime. Let's go before. I'm a witch. Uh huh. I'm a witch. And what do you do? What kind of powers do you have? I make things grow. You make things grow? Yes. What kind of things? Like plants and flowers magically. Mm hmm. How do you do that? Just summon the earth. Mm -hmm. The earth speaks to me. And I wear black. You wear black? What is the, the significance of the black? Maybe it's not all white. My work is not all white. Mm. So whose heart was that, that was in the box? Jesus, I think. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Some Jesus. Nothing else comes up, just Jesus. Mm -hmm. Why did you have Jesus in your, in the box? I was helping him. Mm -hmm. How were you helping Jesus? I was helping him hide. Mm -hmm. Inside a stone, stone cave, and I was summoning the earth so it could be invisible. Mm -hmm. But it didn't work. What happened? Why didn't it work? Somebody came and they opened it. I was working with him to make him go to another dimension. Mm -hmm. And they opened the, the tomb and they ruined it. How did you get the heart? They put it there and then they made me eat it. Mm, so they're the ones who put it there? Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like a wedding, it was like a church ceremony. Mm hmm. Hmm. Tell me more. What's happening now? There's a woman with black hair. Mm hmm. A woman with black hair? That is Egyptian. Mm hmm. She knows me. And we work together. And she asked me to help him. She asked you to help Jesus? Yeah. Mm hmm. What's her name? Elira. Eliza, Elvira, El Cleo, something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And what happened with this woman? Nephilus. Nephilus? Nephilus. Nephilim. Nephilim? Nephilim? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Nephilim had you do this? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do they call you in this lifetime? Listen for your name. I am Elvira. Elvira, okay. Elvira, what happens next? I embody the earth. I embody the earth and I move. I can move everything that's natural. Mm -hmm. I can move earth and I speak to the stars. You can move earth and water. I can speak with the stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm connected to earth. 
connected to Earth. What do you do with the Earth? I use it to help humans. You use it to help humans? I move things so that it can help them survive mm -hmm. and heal. And I also speak with the people in the center of the Earth. Mm -hmm. They are red beings. Red beings in the center of the Earth? Yes, mm -hmm. I speak with them. And my throat feels like fire. I don't know, it's strange. Mm -hmm. That's how I communicate with them. You communicate through fire? Yes, somehow. Mm -hmm. Elvira, do you have a human body? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I'm a woman. You're a woman. What do you look like? I am petite. Mm -hmm. You're petite? I wear black dresses of some kind. Mm -hmm. You're petite and wear black dresses? I have black hair. And my eyes are blue. Mm -hmm. And what part of the earth do you live on? It's in Egypt. Somewhere by Egypt. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you up here? 31 BC. Mm -hmm. So tell me more about your life. Tell, tell me what happens next in your life that's significant. Oh God, I got out of that fear. Mm -hmm. I'm walking down the roads with these gigantic buildings. Mm -hmm. Columns, gigantic columns. Mm -hmm. What is this place? It's like Rome. Roman-esque building. Roman-esque buildings? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm sorry. It's not Roman. It's Egyptian. Egyptian. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's that place. That place that I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. What did it describe this place? A giant door in the side of the mountain. A giant door in the side of the mountain? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where does this door lead? Oh my gosh, there's gold inside there. There's gold inside there? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I want to go in and, and get it. You want to go in and get it? Oh, you're a speak louder so I can hear I, you. I want to go in and get that. Mm -hmm. What do you use the gold for? It's pure energy. Mm. This is this is the, the cup of life. The, what is that? Is this gold special? Yes, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Where does it come from? The sun. Hmm. How did we get this gold on Earth? The black tall beings. The black tall beings? Who are they? Nefertiti communicated with them. Nefertiti communicated with them? What does she tell them? She is one of them. Hmm. This is, uh, this is those people with the bird nose, bird mm. faces. The bird faces? Like Osiris. Yes. Like Osiris. But it's not reptilians, it's the other ones. Mm hmm How tall are these? They're gigantic, gigantic. Mm -hmm. Are they... And they guard this gold and they brought it here. This is the Grand Arcana. It's the gold cup of life. It's what the cup of life represents. Mm -hmm. So how do you get inside of this? I'm just walking in and looking at this magnificent. How big is this fear? It's gigantic. Is this inside of this cave? Yes, it's inside this door on the wall. Mm -hmm. The energy is magnificent. What do you feel from it? Peace. I feel the way I felt when they took me. That feeling of infinite connection. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's connect and see where it is, where they took you. 
Oh, you mean recently? Mm -hmm. Pleiades. The Pleiades. So, do you feel that this gold sphere is from the Pleiades? No, All this right. stuff is from the sun. This comes from the sun. Tell me more about this sphere. What else do you do inside of this place? This sphere. They they manipulate this energy, and when they need more power, they draw from it. Mm -hmm. Wherever this gold goes is where there is richness on the planet. Mm. This is the golden cup. The golden cup. What is that called? It's... Mm. Mm -hmm. The Romans had it. The Romans took it after those terrible popes. Mm -hmm. They tried to get it. How do you move the sphere? It has to be summoned by them. Mm. But they manage it. They made an arrangement with the Americans. Mm, who did? The tall, dark ones made an arrangement? Yes, made an arrangement. They're managing humans like puppets mm -hmm. in America. Why do, you, do they want to manage the humans like puppets? Why do they want to manage? They want to manage them because... What do they get from it? They feed off the manipulation. They feed off the manipulation? Yes, they feed off the fear. Mm. They feed off the fear of everyone constantly. And that's what they these ones feed off of, and they've been doing it for centuries since Egypt. Mm -hmm. But what does the sphere have anything to do with it, if that's such the peace? The sphere is... The sphere is powerful. This is life force. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's a combination of souls. Hmm. Tell me about that. Those are essences. The sun. The sun. Oh my gosh. The sun is where all the souls are recycled and pure. Mm -hmm. the pure. It's pure life force. And the sun is where it comes from. Mm -hmm. Do all the souls go to the sun? By the sun. Mm -hmm. The it's, souls? Why so they... the sun gives life force to all beings. Mm -hmm. Okay? And all souls, all essences of energy, come from the sun. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter where in the universe they go. Mm -hmm. There are other ones that have blue sun energy. Okay, okay. So the Pleiades has a blue sun. It's a different energy, a different lineage. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. I see what's happening. Mm -hmm. so tell, me, tell me everything that you're saying and deciphering. I'm seeing the Pleiades far away with the blue sun. And all those souls come from that sun. And all our souls from our planet come from our sun. And the problem. beings are manipulating that our sun energy. Mm. How do they manipulate our sun? There was a dark ship that came years ago. The triangle ship. Mm -hmm. That was them. They did something. They shifted something with the sun. The universe expands rapidly. universe expands rapidly and the sun moves in a certain direction and when they came they shifted they took over something they put like a different DNA strain within the make of the sun okay and then makes humans. My god, they are 
Pleiating hybrids. Hmm. The Pleiades are creating hybrids? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's two of them that are creating hybrids. Who are they that are creating hybrids? The Pleiades and also these dark ones. Mm hmm. So there's two different strains of humans on Earth. Mm hmm. How can you tell the difference between these humans? The different strains? Oh my gosh. The blue blood. The blue blood? That's the blue. That's what it means. Mm hmm. Those are the dark ones? No. The Pleiades? The Pleiades is the white. Mm. Tell me more. So, hold on, let me try to understand this. Tell me so I can hear you. The blue bloods that came into England. The blue bloods that came into England? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are they from? They have Pleiadian blood? Yes. Mm -hmm. The Nordics are connected to. The Nordics are connected the Nordics. to. There was a... Oh my gosh. Hitler. Hitler. Mm -hmm. What about Hitler? Hitler made an arrangement with the Dark Ones. Hitler was a Pleiadian too. Hitler was a Pleiadian? He made an arrangement with the Dark Ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, blood started to get combined. Blood started to get combined, and they went to Canada mm -hmm. and to Russia. What did they do? And that's how the war started. That's how the war to get rid of those the Jews. Mm -hmm. But hold on, why? The reason why they can manipulate money is because they're connected with the center of the earth. Mm -hmm. They are from there. They they own this planet. Mm -hmm. They own the money. This illusion is created by them. The black ones, mm -hmm. they just want to take some. You know? They want to play. They want to play? From the humans and mm -hmm. eat their energy to cause pain and suffering on the earth for years, centuries. I can see the world and I can see the different wars that happened. Mm hmm. A lot of money moving around, a lot of drugs, a lot of alcohol, a lot of guns, all being moved around by the United States to all these countries, to India, to Pakistan, to Afghanistan. Oh my gosh, they were feeding them. They were giving them all the money to keep doing these wars. Mm -hmm. But, but he, but his people are healthy because he knows the alcohol is what keeps them dim. The alcohol keeps his people numb. But if they weren't numb, those people would be powerful because mm -hmm. they have it in their blood, the Russians. What do they have in their blood? They are the Nordics. Mm -hmm. They are the Pleiadians. They are, that's, that's where they stayed. And their ancestors are the Atlanteans. Mm. Yep. I knew that. I knew that. But I can see it now. The island that went underwater, not by Hawaii, but somewhere around there, used to be a part of Russia. And it was connected with Canada and Alaska somehow. Alaska went more south. And then Russia was connected with Canada and that part of land which is underwater under the Hawaii that was connected to Canada mm. and that's why the Shasta and Banff they have the same energy mm -hmm. Hawaii does too what is this energy that they, that that area has so this is, is that... it's like it's like the fountain of youth mm -hmm. it's like um Oh my god, I saw this. I saw this in a dream. Mm -hmm. The yeah. blue the blue waters underneath, it's like a cave. And it is Banff. Mm -hmm. And underneath those caves it's crystals. And they're connected with the crystals that are also in Mexico. And they're connected with the lake in Shasta. Those are all circles of life. Those are fountains of life. 
mm -hmm. of youth. And if you look underneath Hawaii, that's where Atlantis. Something is there. An old civilization. Mm -hmm. What are these crystals doing? These crystals heal the earth. These crystals heal the earth. They are generators of light and energy. And they communicate with Pleiades and the sun and Pleiades. They communicate. So what's happening now on the earth? Where are we now? So right now, right now, right now, right now, everyone's waking up and they saw, they're seeing the division. They're seeing the division of that blue of the dark, of the darkness, of the red sun, of the, of the golden sun, our sun. Mm -hmm. Those people are coming to light. Now there's, you can see who they are now clearly. Mm -hmm. Where are these you people? You can see, they're, you know, in Washington. They're just hidden in between everyone, but they're coming up. Mm -hmm. And the poor people in the war in the Middle East, those are all zombies and robots. They're not they're not alive, they're halfway dead, all those people. They're halfway dead. They're halfway dead. They keep fighting though, because you know, that's what they were programmed. Hypnotically, they were hypnotically programmed. Mm -hmm. Were they hypnotically programmed to self-destruct? Yes, basically. They mm -hmm. just kill, they kill, they do whatever. So the world don't feel pain for those people because they're already halfway dead just a message for the world not to feel pain mm -hmm. because because it's an illusion so please don't feel pain what should we be feeling we need to feel love mm -hmm. deepest humans don't understand love don't understand that feeling of infinite connection to everything around us and we need to tap into that how do we do that we're connecting more with earth we're connecting more with earth how do we do that okay so the cliche but it's true plant-based diet mm -hmm. We have to surround ourselves with crystals. We have to find crystals that come from these places and we have to surround ourselves with them to create our own fountains of life within our homes. We have to have waters, rushing fountains in our homes. Water, water is an alien. Water was not on this earth. Water was brought to earth. Hmm. Where was it brought from? It was brought from the Pleiades. Mm -hmm. So we need to have rushing water in our house? Yes, we need to have that rushing energy mm -hmm. to cleanse, to constantly cleanse. Energy needs to be constantly moving from all the corners of the houses. Houses shouldn't be square. They should be round or conical to allow the energy to move around. So what do we do if we have a square house like most of us do? Okay, we hang crystal, crystal balls, crystal balls clear ones on every corner of our houses wow we have to learn how to use the energy of the earth just the way that i teach to use energy the gold light we have to bring the gold light from the enter of the uh, center of the earth into the world into each house mm -hmm. but each person that owns that building needs to do it to bring in the energy and cover their house with a bubble of gold light with protection remove the televisions remove them toxic black holes of energy that suck out all our life force they suck out our youth our vitality they cause fake emotions and fears within us you have to remove them even if they're turned off they are programmed to vibrate within us, to shift our energetic energy within us. We have to be far away from them. I don't know about cell phones, it's all the same, but it's hard to get rid of those. 
Shungite. Shungite. You need to use Shungite when you have a phone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the Shungite should be attached to the phone? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's why they told us that. Mm-hmm. Where is Shungite from? Shungite is from Venus. It's from Venus. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it was sent to us from Venus? Yeah, the Venusians. Mm-hmm. And I met a Venusian once. Mm-hmm. I met him. Yes, I saw. I see. Mm-hmm. Him and I are connected from past lives. I knew that. Mm-hmm. I knew that. Okay. So what else are you receiving? We need grass. We need to connect with Earth. We're like bare feet. Mm-hmm. And we have to learn. Everybody needs to learn how to run energy. How do we l- learn to run energy? Yeah, it's the green energy from the center of the Earth. You're bringing up to your feet to create a vortex of energy in the center of your body. You bring universal energy from the universe. It's not from the sun. I always knew it wasn't from the sun. It's from the universe. The nebulas, the stars, the formations, the universal energy, vast energy of nothingness, that is pure energy. We have to visualize that coming down into our body, combining with the earth energy, grounding, and then we run it through our system, through our veins. So each one of us can help. Yeah, we have to help ourselves first because we're the secret. We Mm -hmm. are the secret to keeping this earth alive without us. It's just full of the little red, red people. Mm -hmm. They are little, they are the red, they from this earth. They are originally from this earth. Wow, the Native Americans are, hmm, Native Americans are from the top of the earth. I see the Aztecs, the Native Americans are from above, the other ones are from inside. And all that materialism comes from the gold that comes from within the earth. Hmm. I see. Tell me about that. So, they're like little miners inside the center of the earth. So they created the earth above the, the material world. Mm-hmm. Okay, because... American Indians and all the natural people, they don't need that. They just live in nature. Mm -hmm. They manage the top of the earth. So how did these little red people come from the bottom, from the inside of the earth up? You know, they just have little tunnels. They have ways of coming up. Mm -hmm. Can you specify a little bit? Because there's going to be a lot of people who find this very very upsetting so you know that black box with the Muslims Mm -hmm. that dark energy inside there that's connected with the white calf of the Jews Mm -hmm. okay I don't know enough about the religion to understand Mm -hmm. but there's a connection there Mm -hmm. and those are spirits Mm -hmm. okay and mm, they feed off the people they feed, oh my god. Remember, they go around that black box. It's absorbing their energy. But those people, they feed off that black box in a way too. Yeah. So it goes both ways. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. But they're basically like zombies or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the white calf means someday. No, I want you to connect and see. It has dark, well, big blue dark eyes, and it has a blue diamond in the middle of its forehead. Mm-hmm. Gigantic ears. It's white. It has writing on the side. What does the writing say? They're like little triangles and squares and circles. Mm-hmm. Some language. But that's a code. What is this code? I just can see the 
for some reason the calf's foot. Mm -hmm. but the print of the foot has a form, a shape, and that represents something. I don't know what. What are you getting from it? Connect with the energy of it. Allow it to give you the information. It's dark. It's it's dark energy. It's black. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy. Oh wow! Wait a minute. This feeling that I get is the heaviness that you feel when you eat bad things. Mm. Mm. It's like black magic. It's being put in the food. It's being put in the food. What do you think that this black magic is being put in? What is it? Makes people sleep. Mm. Makes people sleep. Makes people sleep. Sleep spiritually? Yes, in mm -hmm. every way. They feel numb, they feel drowsy, they feel sleepy. Mm -hmm. And they're zombied out, and that's the quickest way to remove them from their spiritual self. Mm -hmm. What kind of food is being tainted with this? All the fast food, that M, that M. Wait a minute. Oh God, this is nuts. What's the symbolic reason? Is it the, the calf's foot? Is it, is it M? Does it make an M? Does it make an M? But it does, but it connects to that. But all, all the fast food, all the food, everything, it's all poisoned. Everything's poisoned. Even the crops are poisoned. By poisoned, I mean it's full of this energy that makes people sleep. Mm -hmm. How can we, we change? Have to farm. How can we change the energy of our food? We have to farm and we have to produce our own food. There's no other way because that, oh my gosh, the M, the M, they're connected with the calf. Mm -hmm. Is it owned by? Is it owned by them? By those guys? I think so. Yeah, it's owned. The M has poisoned all the crops everywhere, and they're taking over. Oh my god. Can we do anything energetically ourselves? Yeah, we need to put gold light in our food. Mm -hmm. So how do we put gold so light in our So we just food? visualize gold light coming from the universe. We have to use universal energy. This is what I've been saying. Universal energy, not from the sun, from the universe. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a practice that's being taught, and they use the sun energy. Don't use the sun energy, because it's not pure anymore. It used to be, but it's not anymore. We have to use the energy from the universe, from the vast infinite, and bring that energy like a gold healing light on top of our food. And when we eat it, we visualize the gold coming into our body, and we visualize expansion and health and we have to be connected with our bodies enough to see everything the veins the cells the bodies the the you know the guts the organs everything we have to see and communicate and talk and heal it we have to visualize and learn anatomy because that way we can see what we're visualizing there's some people that can't see that's okay they just have to look at pictures and and connect make themselves connect they have to connect and heal can everybody heal themselves yes absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely everyone so if, let's say that someone has a, an illness mm -hmm. such as cancer or some sort of a cancer they're just little micro bugs they're it's fake it's not real tell me a little bit about cancer i see i see they're little black oh my god they're like little Mm -hmm. They look like little crabs, little black crabs. Mm -hmm. And you know what? They just take over the body. But they're programmed and they're being manipulated by some dark force. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does everyone have those little crabs inside of them? No, they are put in. Mm -hmm. Who puts them in? You know what? People allow themselves, they open themselves up, their energetic sphere opens up mm -hmm. and, and an illness comes in but the problem is 
It's a much bigger, darker force than that. And we understand the bigger, darker force. It's that dark energy. It's those dark people that have been here. Mm -hmm. They just find new ways to bring new illnesses. Mm -hmm. So, but they're all fake. They're all robotic. That's why people can heal themselves because they're basically man-made or made, not mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. How do how do pharmaceuticals help? Pharmaceuticals are poison. Pharmaceuticals are just experiments of chemistry. They're not real. Mm -hmm. Poison. And they poison people. So what would you say to someone who has an illness is in, in the middle of taking medicine? <clears throat> what would you say to them? They need to remember their power. They need to reconnect with themselves and heal with earth energy. Stop being afraid. They have to stop being afraid of dying. Mm -hmm. And they have to understand that we are infinite beings. We are essences of life, of light. Okay? Mm -hmm. And because we are powerful essences of light, we are in charge. So can we command an illness to leave? Yes. Mm -hmm. But wait. Those robots, they stick to us. Mm -hmm. Let me see, let me see. There's something, some kind of energetic wave, a specific energetic wave that helps clear these, these illnesses. Mm -hmm. We have rampant illness like cancer, HIV. HIV is fake. HIV is fake, yeah. What about STDs? Yes, STDs are fake. They're man-made. So how is it that someone re gets an STD? Fear. Mm. We already know. It's in the books. It already says why people get it. How do we get rid of it? We have to realize the opposite of what that is. Realize the opposite of what that is and embody it fully. Become it. Be it. I release. I release. Is that one, what one needs to do when they have an illness like this? Yes. Release it or become it? Release. Release it. Wait. Release the opposite of that illness is. Release the opposite of the illness. The illness. Mm -hmm. There's been books about it. They write why the illness, the metaphysical reasons of illness. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Hay. Mm -hmm. Louise Hay. Louise Hay wrote it. Mm -hmm. So, please listen to that. But it's not complete. Her book is not complete. There's a more complete somewhere. I don't know where. Mm -hmm. Can you explain? There's an ancient book in mm -hmm. Egypt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my god, we are... These ancient illnesses are from Egypt, too. The illnesses are from Egypt, too? When those black people came in, the black energies, the black aliens, okay? Mm-hmm. This is their way, oh, I, okay. So, so they feed off people from their negative emotions. And then they insert these illnesses into their bodies, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Okay, this book, this ancient book, I can see it inside a room on top of a pedestal. This library, this gigantic library inside a room. Beautiful building. How big is this book? These seers mm. manage them. Mm. White seers. Oh my god, they were enslaved. These seers were enslaved? Yes, they were enslaved. Because these seers are from the light. But they knew this about illnesses. They were enslaved and they were made to write down all the, all the illnesses. All the illnesses and the, the dark energy they've experimented for centuries on people. Oh my god, on the Egyptians. But 
then they went they that's why Africa's like that that's why Africa is like this now oh my god all the experiments of those illnesses were done there so now they're paying centuries and centuries of suffering in Africa because of this the, it's the generation the gene pool the gene pool there's a certain gene pool there's different is there any way that they can release this in illness from these experiments? Okay, hold on. What? What did you say? Is there any way for them to release all of these illnesses from their gene pool? Okay. So, what's the connection between this and karma? And, and lives that are chosen on earth? Let me see. Okay, some of our population is here by choice. Mm -hmm. The other part is hybrids. They're like zombies. Mm. Okay, so, so hold on, let me see. So, I can see the energy revolving around it. Whose en what energy do you see? understand this the energy that comes in from the universe Wait. the gene pool there's different gene pools in there that have nothing to do with the sun comes from there but the planet the sun gives DNA the sun gives DNA different strains of DNA okay okay so Pleiadians have a different strain mm -hmm. similar to some of the other people on other planets like the Venusians and Pluto Plutos are Plut Plutos are coming to the earth wow the Pluto people are coming I thought it wasn't even a planet anymore Pluto is something dark and still it's still it's like not a planet it's dead but there's something coming from there mm -hmm. from the Sun is the darker energy and they have a different strain of DNA okay mm -hmm. so what they're trying to oh my god oh my god no wonder okay so they're creating hybrids with the Pleiadians okay mm -hmm. because the more they mix the blood, the more they can manage the suns and communicate with the suns. Oh God, that's why. Wait a minute, what kind of hybrids did I have? I don't know, some kind. Mine are Pleiades. How many people here on earth have hybrid children? Thousands. Thousands. You know what? I can't count, but I can see the map. Mm -hmm. A lot of Europeans and a lot of Americans. A lot of Russians, and you want to know why? Because they're from the Pleiades. Mm. They have that blue blood, blue, blue line. What about those, for example, from South America? Yes. Where are they from? Okay. Oh my gosh, they're they have a blue light, but different, a radiant white blue light. Oh my gosh, I can see it. I can see it in Bolivia, mm -hmm. in the center of the oh god, Lake Titicaca. It was, it was a crystal palace, and it sunk. Mm. Yes, and the Venusians, the Venusians are from there. Is okay? Keep going. Is it okay? What's happening? Is it? 
You keep going and tell me more. Okay. Let's keep looking at this map and see what else you see. Okay. Keep connecting the dots. The back. crystals, the crystals at the center of Lake Titicaca are connected with the crystals. Costa Rica in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. These are Venusian energies. Mm -hmm. They come to heal the earth. Where do you feel that there's more influence right now of the dark ones? United States. The United States. Did she come here for a higher purpose? Yes. Mm hmm What's the reason why she's here? We need to elevate her energy and bring her into her opening. Mm hmm Does she know this mission? She knows mm -hmm. exactly what she's doing. So how can she do that immediately? Raise her vibration and become one with herself once and for all. Mm hmm She's been there. Her mission is to heal people, mm -hmm. and she needs to heal them. But she says that you even know though... this, Alba. Yeah, even though she sees this energy and blockages in people and removes them under meditation, she can't remove them in herself. She put a lot of prep work into this already once. Mm -hmm. She knows. She does. She heals herself. Her connection is heavy with her body. Mm. Why did she get burned when she was little? This was a sign. It was a mark. Mm -hmm. There was a woman witch that knew the family, that knew White Lobo, Lobo Blanco. Mm -hmm. you, we are all connected somehow. Lobo Blanco cast a spell on her to create healing. Mm an embodiment of his own daughter, which was from a past, past life. There's a connection with her. This mark is a mark of a healer. Hmm. And she needs to be okay with it. So when she understands this now, that this mark is of a healer... She's very afraid. She cannot show it. Mm -hmm. Her brother told her to show it. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. She will in time. Mm-hmm. So when she shows this mark, what is this mark going to represent for her once she begins to show it? This mark represents beauty. Mm-hmm. And unconditional love. Beautiful. There are many people who actually pay money to get tattoos of things on their body to show what they represent. You know what those are? Mm -hmm. They used to be scars on their bodies in past lives. Mm. So they have to show where they were. Ah, I see. So those who have tattoos have scars there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now Geraldine has a scar which was created for her to show her beauty, her healing. It's magic. It's magic. From her right arm, she can give out energy that's a very powerful energy. Mm -hmm. So can she wear that scar now with pride? Knowing she, she's that... She's afraid. She, does, she doesn't want, but yes, she will in time. Mm -hmm. She will. Mm -hmm. She's so, integrating her bodies right now. She asked you about that. Mm -hmm. and she's already integrating. She was afraid this past week to feel the pain. Mm. It's her it's her shedding of a skin. Mm, like a snake. When we integrate, we shed. Mm. We shed like snakes. Mm -hmm. Only the magi's know this. Mm -hmm. So she is now shedding. Very good. It's okay for her to cry. She cries a lot. Uh-huh. So do I. Yes. Because we feel the pain, not only of ourselves, but of the world around us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This illusion. This illusion pain. 
She asks how many times she was taken by ETs. Eighteen times. Eighteen times. How old was she when she first started getting... Five years old. Mm -hmm. And what were they doing with her? Playing with her. They took children. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Did they cause her any harm? They put seeds within her body. Mm -hmm. But that's because she can communicate with her planet. Ah, where are these seeds? In her wrists and in her ankles, mm -hmm. in her thighs. Do they cause her any discomfort? In her lower back. Mm. She has three dots on her left arm. She knows that that was a sign. Mm -hmm. It is a sign. Are these seeds implants? They are implants. Mm -hmm. Do they need to be there? The ones in her left hand, yes. Mm -hmm. In her right ankle, yes. The other ones can be removed. All right. Can you remove them today? I'm going to try, but those are not easy to remove. Mm -hmm. Can you begin to dissolve them, please? Let's see. I'm going to tell you how I heal. Mm -hmm. I use gold universal light. beyond this planet, Alba. Mm -hmm. And you know about it. All of my inductions begin with that golden light. I know that. But you use the same one. This gold light is coming down from the sky, entering her leg. I am transforming it into white light and dissolving and exploding that. It is gone. Do you see that? Beautiful. To the thigh, to the thigh. She has one on her lower neck. Mm -hmm. Remove that too. Can you feel it too, Alba? I don't have those magical powers. Right on the bottom of your nape of your neck. Mm -hmm. Feel that. You will have them too. removed. Beautiful. Anything left that we need to remove? Her eyes cannot see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna heal this a little bit. What's wrong with her eyes? She just can't see that well. Mm -hmm. I need her to see beyond this dimension. Wonderful. I'm going to remove that cover over her third eye. That veil that was placed with all the pain of the illusions of those men. She doesn't need that. Mm -hmm. removed. 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 She has a question now about her Pleiadian connection. Mm -hmm. You tell her what that means. She belongs there. She is from that land. Mm -hmm. Sirius. So why is she here this time? She is here to heal in this difficult time of change. She's very powerful. She can heal more than one person at a time. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to give her the ability to heal and see the energy of more than one person. This She will be teaching. Wonderful. Yes. Will she be able to make a living out of this now? Money. <laughs> These humans and their monies. <laughs> <laughs> she has to survive somehow, doesn't she? This is a joke. <laughs> she can manipulate. She has the power to connect with infinite source above her, and she knows this. She's just afraid, and she can't... She pulls it in. Everything she wants, she manifests mm -hmm. like magic. So she can manipulate. She manipulates energy mm -hmm. on a higher level. Money is nothing. Okay, I'm gonna 
remove that program that she has where there is oh that okay i removed it that lack of abundance she just has a little program in her mind that money is a limitation that money it comes from her mother her mother is a beautiful soul now i'm going to remove this thank you You see, Al, but the love from our planet, even your planet, is more powerful than any other in the universe. Hmm. It is pure, infinite creation. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am sending healing on you as well. Thank you. From the center of the earth and from the universe, filling you with a globe of white light. I'm removing attachments from your spine filling your spine with golden light where are those attachments from all your past lives mm. you can see past lives you manage that energy that's good you are an inter interdimensional being as well healed now with that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you tell her how she can better embody love? She's been practicing every morning. Mm -hmm. She takes showers with golden light and she has affirmations that she says, I am love, I am love, I am love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's working so hard. Is it working? It is. She has a lot of compassion. We have a lot of compassion. But when people are not ready to wake up, we don't need to be around their energy. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Do not take this in the wrong way. You're not being judged. Just love yourself. yourself but be picky about the people you are with and around okay mm -hmm. Geraldine absolutely does not need to be anywhere where there is a low vibration it is a time of purity now and purification she's gonna go to Mount Shasta and she's gonna go to Banff mm -hmm. she's gonna go to Hawaii and she's gonna go to Mexico and she needs to go there now that's her next trip Wonderful. She knows what she needs to do there. Yes. And I will connect her with those brothers. You will meet them too sometime, Alba. Mm -hmm. I will send them your way. Thank you. Seems like getting a lot of people sent my way. <laughs> You're connected with all of them. You're an old soul. You know a lot. She wants to awake some more. <laughs> What steps does she need to take to make it a reality? She's already awake. Mm -hmm. She's more awake than that almost a lot of people. Mm -hmm. She's very special. She just needs to believe in herself and stop crying over spilled milk. Mm -hmm. What is in the past is in the past. Now it's the time. needs to go to the bathroom because mm. she needs to release something all right please allow her to go so i'm going to touch the shoulder okay and geraldine that will be your indication to be able to get up you'll remain in this trance and when you come back you'll be able to connect exactly where you are right now she asks about the dream she wants to be able to open the studio she knows that that's a limited vision mm -hmm. 
She has much bigger work to do. Mm -hmm. What kind of work does she need to be doing? She needs to be traveling and teaching everywhere she goes. Mm -hmm. Everyone she comes into contact with, she needs to talk about it as if it was nothing but touch them deep inside. Mm -hmm. Everyone she meets, she's already starting to do that. She's afraid. She always gets her mind so busy with the talk, mm -hmm. telling her that it's... <laughs> She's a healer. She's a healer. But, you know, the little talk inside, it just kind of gets in the way. Mm -hmm. Is this the little one that we need to put in the back seat with duct tape? Mm -hmm. You know which one that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how can we train this little one that keeps telling her that she's not good enough? It's connected with her fear body. Mm -hmm. It's okay, it just needs to be healed. All right. Can you begin healing that today? What does she have inside that she needs to get out? The tapping that she's doing is really good for her. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and keep tapping. Tell her what that tapping is. <sighs> oh, yes, it's release. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone needs to understand. Tapping is movement mm -hmm. of the energetic meridians. And when we tap, we realign our energy with our meridians. Mm -hmm. And we need to do that. She does it on a daily basis. She's been doing it. She knows it helps her. You need to do it too. Everyone needs to do this. So is this tapping almost like a, an energetic acupuncture? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it drains all the energy clogs within the body. Anything that's connected with emotion, it mm -hmm. drains that. Mm -hmm. It drains the emotional body and realigns, refocuses. It's like a meditation. People that cannot meditate correctly, they can use this technique in order to connect with themselves. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who come to me that say they cannot meditate. What are the points in Geraldine which Geraldine can help them. Mm -hmm. She teaches visualizations and makes them move. She can feel their body as they're feeling things, and she shows them what to look at and where to focus. Mm -hmm. That's why it's powerful. We need to show her how to teach them. Mm -hmm. The one that helps the most is the emotional body healing. Mm -hmm. The one that's detoxing the emotional bodies. Oh, emotional. Emotional bodies, draining negative emotions out of the bodies. Mm -hmm. Very powerful, and he does do very good. Listen to that, share that. That's a good one. Brad Yates. Brad Yates tapping, yeah. I mean, it's very simple, mm -hmm. but all tapping is going to help. All mm -hmm. tapping helps. Does the tapping help the etheric body then? Absolutely. Heal? So all our bodies are connected and Geraldine can see this. Every single layer of the body is connected. Uh, the physical body, the ethereal body, they're all connected by the chakras. Mm -hmm. And all of these are connected with our organs, our drainage system, our hormonal system. All of these have to be in balance to create optimum health in the body. Through this tapping, you are draining out anything that's negative and doesn't belong in those areas of the body. That's what she does. Wonderful. That's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. This is how we teach people. These are ancient techniques from the Pleiades. Okay? Mm -hmm. We bring this technology down to Earth. This ancient technology has come down from Egypt, gone to Africa, then went to India, then went to China. The American Indians understand this as a form of cleansing as well. Mm -hmm. And they were using that too. Wonderful. So does the higher self have anything else? 
that you would like to tell Geraldine today? that are in your life right now. They are there to support you and help you. Be compassionate and be honest with how you feel. Don't deny your inner The hawks that I send your way. Those are me talking to you, reminding you, and the birds that always fly over your car. You've noticed them already and you know. Those are reminders. When I send them your way, Get into love immediately and nothing else. Wonderful. Do you have a message for anyone else? The universe, mm. the world. Mm -hmm. Please. The next big wave is about self love and Geraldine. We have to talk about self-love more with everyone. We need to make it rampant among everyone. Self-love. This is how we're going to heal. Mm -hmm. Love oneself. The connection of the self. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I showed you the map of the world and the connection of things. This is a missing link in information for something. Mm -hmm. Use it. So will Ger Geraldine be able to use this map? This information from the map? Everyone needs to understand this connection mm -hmm. because it shows the links between what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Well, we may have to hear that many times over and over again to get it straight. There's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to provide more information in the future if Anytime. we need. Mm -hmm. Geraldine's channels are open. Mm -hmm. She is here to speak. Wonderful. So we'll be able to do another session with her to bring out more information? There is so much more. Mm. Sounds enticing. I'm sure everyone is waiting. Time. Wonderful. Are we complete today? Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh. How was it for you? That was insane. <laughs> do you remember it? I remember some, mm. but not clearly. Not clearly? Yeah. What do you remember? I remember seeing that map that they showed me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was an important piece. God. Mm -hmm. How long do you feel this uh, little journey was? Two hours. How did it feel? Mm. Don't guess. Um, not that long. Well, how did it feel? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay, uh, we are at two and a half hours. Wow. <laughs> so, how did it feel? Did you feel you were hypnotized? It was a, a different state. Yeah. Different state, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, it felt beautiful to connect with different aspects of myself. Mm -hmm. And the healing was powerful. Mm -hmm. You went through a lot of healing. Mm hmm. How does your body feel? Body feels really great, actually, right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're buzzing? 
You should be head of the selenite work for you. Wonderful. It's They're good connectors, of, huh? Yeah, wonderful. So I know this is a long session and there's a lot happened here. Is this something that you want to share? Or you want to look at it first? Oh boy, I think I need to look at it. I can't even believe some of the things that I've said. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, I do want to share. I think we need to share that important part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, well, we could put out, take out some of the personal stuff. Maybe just a couple of things. All right. Wow. <laughs> I don't even have words for this session. I really don't have words. Oh, it was, that was amazing. It was amazing. Now, you had your eyes open almost the whole time. Mm. Do you realize that? Yeah. That, I mean, I didn't realize it now that you're telling me. Yes, yeah. I'm remembering. Yeah. Um, but Are I, you seeing anything out of your eyes when you have your eyes open? I can see, but not like what's in front of me. Yeah. What are, Just, you, what are you seeing? I'm visualizing. I'm seeing what's in my mind uh -huh. or what's being shown to me. Yeah. So... As you have your eyes open, you're actually just seeing the screen of whatever it is that you have. Mm -hmm. So it's not like your eyes are seeing around the room. Exactly. So it seems like when you do this, your eyes have to be open. Perhaps, yeah. Yeah. Because I think I, I embody that. I practice that also mm -hmm. in my meditation. <laughs> so tell everybody what it is that you do. Um, I teach meditation. Mm -hmm. um, it's called active meditation. And I teach people to integrate their higher self within their body and connect and communicate more with them and I see energy and I help clear and clean blockages. Excellent. So if someone were, wanted to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? They can um, see my website at bayareameditation.com. How, how do you spell that? B-A-Y-A-R-E-A -E meditation M-E-D-I-T-I yeah, Medita wait. They know how to spell meditation, Sorry, meditation but it's B A Y, um, Bay Area Meditation. Bay Area Meditation, okay. or meditazone.com. Okay, so we're going to put that on the video so that at least they can contact you. And what kind of services can they get from Thank you? Thank you. Um, the best is one-on-one -on -one service where I can see people and work with them because I can feel your energy and feel mm -hmm. where the blockages are and work with you and cleanse them. Mm -hmm. And um, and also with gr within group sessions. Uh, I do healing, like, yeah, healing mm -hmm. sessions. Can you do remote healing or um, not yet? I can. I do remote healing, but mm -hmm. I won't be able to feel mm -hmm. you as good as if you're next to me because yeah. I align with your body, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. Excellent. So how did it feel to be in hypnosis? Um, it was amazing. It was like a much, much deeper meditation. You could, you were still conscious. It was an interesting level of being conscious, <laughs> but you know, uh -huh. um, yes, you can hear the things around you, but, um, you're just, you're in a different level. You just see what, what's happening. Uh -huh. And in your case, you did see yes. because some people do feel and, mm -hmm. but you were seeing everything yes, yes, and yes. you were, um, your session was totally different in that you were seeing, seeing things. It was almost like it wasn't your higher self. It was almost like you were dictating what was going on. You were seeing mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. like connections. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was, it was almost like, a, I guess, a channeling of some you sort. Were, yeah. It seems like you were yeah. channeling. You were watching this stuff because it was like you were bringing in information. Oh, I see this connection and that connection. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yes. I remember what I saw. Yeah. So it took me a minute to put the pieces together because it was yeah. so much information. And even now, I still have images of what I was seeing mm -hmm. because it was so vivid. And I could see, like, everything that was happening, all the planets that were connected and those wow. links with the people and those beings. I can, I still... Now, these yeah. tall beings that we're talking mm -hmm. about, how tall are we talking about? Yeah, so basically, I don't remember the name now, but that gate in yeah. the side of the wall, what is the name? It's a famous place. It's, it's, in, it's a famous place, and I was, really wanted to go there. Okay. But... They they already studied this that there were there are gigantic tall doorways and the, yeah. the statues that are outside are basically the size the of what size they of the used people. to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It used to be like that. Yeah. And so they come in, they come in through different dimensions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they really are real. Yes. And they're still here. Mm -hmm. They are here. The thing is that they manage an energy. They mm -hmm. manage energy and they manipulate the energy and they, they work with people that way. Wow. 
So this was a really powerful session. It was like one of those, wow, <laughs> I don't know even what to say about it. <laughs> but anyway, it seems, yeah. and your higher self kept connecting us together that we've worked together before. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it seems like a lot of my clients that come to me, we've worked together before. Because I think that's, that's the connection. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why you go to a certain practitioner rather than another one is because we are connected you're connected some somehow yes. and uh, it seems like somehow we are both here to heal the world mm -hmm. your higher self kept kept telling me oh, well you remember that right or you know that right and it's like <laughs> no <laughs> i'm not at that level i just do hypnosis i'm not connected so yeah we'll have to work on that yeah, one a little we'll bit that. we'll revisit that <laughs> so if you want a session with me i uh, am out of Miami area. Right now, we are in the um, Cincinnati, Ohio area, actually technically in Kentucky. And uh, Geraldine, how far did you come for this <laughs> session? <laughs> All the way from California. She came from the San Francisco area to Ohio to see me. So that, that's how amazing she is. I think that's <laughs> like, that's, that's, well, enough said. yeah, enough said. Uh, the but only, it was well worth it. It was well worth it. Yeah. So we had a really good time. So I do travel all over the place. So if you want to find out where I'm going to next, go to my out of town page on my website, albaweinman.com, and you will be able to get uh, information as to the next city I'll be going to. And you need to sign up real quick to get to that session. Okay. Until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this session. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh -huh.